Hey guys, uh, Tim here with the Juice Athlete Compound. Uh, been getting a lot of emails and questions on Facebook for our Speed and Agility Tuesdays. So you'll notice today I did not put up a video. I'm actually answering the top three questions that I've gotten about Speed and Agility stuff we're posting, things we're having athletes doing, and why some of it's working so well. Uh, number one we're going to address today is foot contact. Now coming up in the video, I'm going to show you two different ways that I see people moving through the agility ladder. One is what I call a really slow tread, meaning their foot makes a long contact on the ground, takes a long time for their foot to be ready for the next movement. The second one you're going to see, and so we go back and forth a couple times, is the foot quickly tapping the ground and being ready again to move. Now this is super important for sports because when you have a play happen, another play is going to happen again and the next movement happens. Most sports aren't just one and done, you stand around and wait. Multi-dimensional things are happening and you have to be ready for it. So watch this next video and then we'll go over the second thing. Uh, the second thing I see, um, and I think this actually comes because we're showing some more advanced agility uh, movements out there. People are kind of coming off a little uncoordinated on them when they're trying them. And what happens is you're watching these athletes that we're showing that are on world championship teams, national team members, uh, regional competitors in the sport of fitness and stuff. They're coming off like a bullet, super fast out the gate. That's great, that's what we wanna get you to. But starting off, I actually recommend you to start the ones a little slower. You're gonna get the movement and timing down over the course of the ladder, you're gonna get the movement a lot quicker. That's okay to start. Now eventually, and we want you going through the whole thing really fast, but uh, check this out here and watch how I move a little slower. I get the movement down and then you're going to see me kind of try and speed up towards the end. Okay, the third biggest uh, thing I'm seeing in some of your videos that you're tagging us in are on the lateral movements. What's happening is if you're going with your right shoulder forward, you're starting with your left foot and that's going to cross you up. Now, the video is going to show it pretty clearly, but I think most of us are going to get it just from me explaining it. So if you're going lateral and your left shoulder is leading the way, your left leg for most drills are going to go first, okay? So that would go then left, that way you're not crossing up and having to come back over. Again, unless that's the specific point of the drill, then good, but otherwise, uh, watch this drill. And uh, we actually have one more bonus tip for you. It's kind of my favorite. All right. All right, uh, because we love you, we want to give you one more bonus line. And this is not so much the efficacy of the movements, but more of just, like, I think it's funny, it makes me laugh every time, is uh, those arms though. <laughs> I see it on the agility ladder, people aren't moving with their arms like you're an athlete. You're doing like a Michael Jackson thriller, uh, arms up here kind of movement. Uh, it's funny even to watch myself do it on camera as I tape this, even funnier when uh, you do it. So keep your arms moving. Again, we bend here. It's not like we're running like this. We're not all awkward. Do it like uh, a normal athlete would. Um, might take some time to get comfortable with that. Don't judge yourself too harshly. The best thing is that you're doing them and yes, we're getting going. Okay, solid, so those are my top three plus one uh, tips for improving yourself on the speed and agility uh, work that we're showing you, especially today's focus is on the agility ladder. If you have more questions, keep them coming. It helps me uh, give you guys information to do this really well and to improve for your sports. Um, if you have other questions, just tag us in a post or juicecompound at gmail.com and we'll get back to you. All right, thanks guys.